this is my uh, 1972 BMW 2002 TII. Got about six years ago. Um, I bought off some drifter kid who was gonna uh, spend his money on a 240SX and wasn't really spending much time in it, but he did do a few cool things to it before I got it. He put in Bilstein's, Ibox Springs, Special Technique sway bars. So just dropped it a little bit and kind of gave it a little bit better stance. The big money saver he did was that he did the five speed swap from a 320i. And so really nice for driving on the highway now compared to previous 2002s I've owned that kind of get a little revved up once you get above 55. Since I've owned it, mostly just done body work and a few other things. I still got a long ways to go on everything I want to do, even though it's been six years. When I bought it, it had a den up door. So we did some body work on it. We also shaved a lot of trim off. The 72s had lower trim on the quarter panels going all the way back. Also had extra reflector lights up front and in the back. And I also got an earlier style bumper. So just a little chrome one in the back rather than the wrap around one. My first car was a 1968 BMW 2002. It wasn't my dream car at first, but when I was looking around when I was 16, I didn't have much money. I had some criteria that I was looking for. I really wanted a rear-wheel drive car. I like all sorts of cars, whether it's like Porsches. I was looking at some Triumphs. Thought it'd be cool to get like a TR4, but a little out of the price range. So, stumbled upon a 68 2002. It was white, and the guy didn't think it passed smog, because back then, he had a smog car that were 68s too. So, picked up for 1100 bucks. Passed smog, ran great. And drove that thing for a little while. Or crashed it. <laughs> they made the 2002 from um, 1968 to 1976 and they really credit with the car that uh, kind of saved BMW. I've always been in love with the early ones because um, the round taillights and less trim and in 74 they went to the square taillights in the back and they also have the big safety bumpers for whatever the laws were back then. car drive and I've done some pretty fun road trips always doing little mountain drives um, I like it because it's just feels kind of like a little bit like a go-kart um, pretty responsive lightweight yeah it doesn't have a ton of horsepower but you can definitely get have a little fun get a little squirrely pitch it sideways here and there yeah it just feels uh, just feels real simple and that's kind of like what I like it's just the suspensions you know it's a little front heavy, um, but you know, generally pretty well balanced. It's super lightweight, it weighs about 2,000 pounds. The regular 2002s have about 100 horsepower. Um, the TII has about 130, 125, 130, and about 125 pounds of torque. So definitely kind of notice the difference between the two, and this one's a little more fun to drive. It does 0 to 60 in just under 10 seconds on the TII. Nothing, uh, nothing ground shattering, but it feels definitely uh, quite quicker than it is. And I think anytime you're in an older car with the rattles, and the shakes, and the little stuff, it feels like you're going quicker than in, when you're in a brand new car. The goal is to take that a little more and have some more fun with it. You know, I always loved driving when I was a kid, and every time I kind of drive it again, even with like just to charge the battery up or anything like that, it's like a big old smile on my face, and you know pitch around a couple turns. Um, my wife says that, uh, you know, after she always tells me to drive safe every time she gets in the car with me because I generally try to pitch it and don't want her head hitting the window or anything like that. That's happened once, but uh, I learned my lesson.